Hey guys, it's the KNH Films here, and today I'm going to do a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to make this video here. I just made this video today because I was really bored. Um, it looks stupid, but it's actually pretty cool. It's just something to mess around with, but, you know. You know, that, that's pretty much it. And then, um, I might do a video on how to make this, put your own text there, or a template. Let me make a template. And basically, this one, I got the idea from this one. This one was a YouTube video that I made. Uh, 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 YouTube video that I found on YouTube. And that's how I got the idea for all of this. Like that. You know, and then how I got the idea from the other videos, how that one spins off and then it, like, swept, sweeped some of those off. And so then I got the idea for this one. Hurry up. Oh, wait, it's right here. Never mind. Alright. Got the idea for this one. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I made that one. So that's this one is the one I'm going to be showing you how to make today. I think I already showed you this, but I'm going to show it to you again because it's pretty sweet. And so then it. Like, show them out and they explode. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you how to do this today. So, we're going to open up R14 or whatever you have. R13 or 12 whatever. I use R14 because it's cleaner. Easier to use. It took a while for me to figure out the dynamic stuff. <sighs> Alright. So you're going to set your width to 1280, and then this to all frames, just so you don't forget, and then we'll do this stuff later. I like to do it AVI. I'll just do this one as YouTube. Uh, whoops. Okay. Just do desktop, whatever. There we go. And yeah, the are insane. It's all good. Okay, so what you're going to start out with is a sphere. Oops. Sphere. Okay, and you're gonna make the sphere like 30. Yeah, it's a good size. All right, and you're gonna get a cloner. Sphere inside the cloner. Go into the cloner. Go inside the linear, you're gonna go grid array. It's gonna turn out like this. You're gonna make it like 10 by 10 by 10. Okay, should end up looking somewhat like this. I'm just gonna stretch it out so it's kind of even. Okay, something like that. That looks good. Just move it up a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's a little laggy because it's not. Okay, right about there. Okay, so you, okay, once you've got that, let's make like a texture for it. Um, I like to do luminance, you do a gradient, you go to like blue with uh, let's just try this, put more blue in there, more blue, more blue. That looks good. Alright, you're just going to put that there. So that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it looks sick. Alright, so then you're going to, um, wait, 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 okay, there we go. Okay, so next you're going to get a plane, move it down, and then, and you want it to be, like, it's going to be pretty big, like, kind of like that. You play it, though, you gotta, oh, wait, you gotta put the stuff on it. So, you go to play, and you go to simulation tags, and you're going to put collider body. You go to cloner, simulation tags, and you're going to put rigid body. So, then it should just fall. Okay. 
So then you're going to go back into cloner. Or sorry, you got to actually click on cloner. Go to dynamics body. You're going to scroll down, put let all children top level. And that should do the, yeah, so. For some reason, the spears do that, but in this case, we wanted to do that, so. All right, so this tells me that, so you see how far the spheres are going? You don't, you want the plane to be all the way out there, so. Stretch it a little bit more, stretch it to the maximum. So when you play it, see? So it, like, rolls off the edges, and that's where your triangles, or in this case, pyramids come in. Okay, so we have that. So let's just color the plane real quick. I like to do, I like to go to reflection, choose a different color, do Franzo. Okay, that's what I like to do, and then, um, I mean, you can do a gradient, but it looks best like that. That's what I like to do. I sometimes like to change this to like a grayish, but it doesn't look as good, so I just leave it as white. Because it lo really looks like metal. Alright, so let's look at that. So that looks pretty sweet. Okay, so then, um, sort of si side view, some sort. Not really. Front, top, right. Ugh, whatever. Stupid. Okay. So now we're going to get a pyramid. No, not a polygon. Pyramid. Put it over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to swing over and make sure it's in the middle, which it is if you didn't move anything. You're just going to stretch it to like that. Okay. And so it is floating off the ground, so you're going to want to lower that to the ground. Maybe move it to the very edge. You're just going to do Control c Control v You're going to copy it. You're just going to move it over to the other side. Try and get it on the edge. Okay, there we go. Move it over there. Okay, sorry guys about that. I had to stop the video for a second. So, <clears throat> um, okay, so right now you've got the triangles. We're going to make a color for that, or a mat, or whatever. I like to do it just a reflection, and I like to do like a blue. But you can do what you want, and you're just going to, gosh darn it. You gotta leave that as white. You gotta go to the color, change that to blue. Otherwise, it just looks really bad and gross. Okay, and I didn't change it to blue. It's blue now? Okay, it's blue. So then you're just gonna go like that and should do a nice blue. And for some reason, that triangle is always black, but it looks fine, so. Unless you're really OCD about colors, then you're screwed. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, so we're going to put it, you're going to make this like 200 frames. And you're going to put a keyframe there, you're going to put a keyframe at 90. And we're, okay, I don't know why this isn't doing it. There it goes. Okay, keyframe there. And you're going to push this. And you're going to raise it like up to there. You're going to raise the whole triangle up a little bit because it moves it down. You're just going to push it this way. About right there. And so now it should move and stretch at the same time. So, see, watch. It slowly gets taller. See? And this isn't real time. And it also does not have the body thing on it. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to simulation. We're going to put collider body. Simulation collider body. Okay. And so now, it's, yeah, see? It bounces off it. 
Okay, so let's go back. Okay, now we have the other pyramid so I can put a keyframe there, put a key key that keyframe at 90, click the record button or whatever. And you can see the other one, how tall it is, so just kind of guess. Because yeah, see how tall it is? It's not very tall, so I'm just gonna move it down a little bit. That looks about the same. I'm just gonna move it. Try and move it anyway to about the same place, which is about right there. A little bit past. Okay. So uncheck that. And now they both should move at the same time while stretching. Okay, so that is that. Okay, so let's just uncheck the corner for now and uncheck the sphere. Or no. Yeah, all you have to do is uncheck the sphere. Okay. So now you got that. Now, so we rewind it all the way to zero and get a square. And what you need to do is you need to put the square uh, about right there. And don't even move it side to side because it's exactly in the middle. Unless you moved the plane, then go ahead and move it to wherever you need it to be moved. Okay. And so you want it... Okay, so right now it's pretty close. You just need to move, lower it a little bit. You don't want any of the spheres escaping the trap or whatever. Uh, this, by the way, I call this the sphere trap. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to do Control C, Control V, and you're going to move it forward and see if you can make it like that and I'm gonna color these two okay so I'm just gonna make a reflection actually I'm gonna make these glow orange Some orange of glow would be good that looks like a good glow okay make that glow ah right, so that looks pretty sweet Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to do a keyframe, and at about 90, just like the other ones, you're going to put a keyframe, go like that, and you're going to stretch it, like, all the way to the end, okay? Just like that. And that's it. And so now it should, okay? So then you're going to click on the other cube, you're going to do the same thing, keyframe there, keyframe at 90, do that, except this one, when you stretch all the way to the end, you're going to go up to, you're going to push that up, alright, let's move up a little bit, alright, there we go, uncheck that, so now it should, okay, alright, so that's that, so, you know, it should, you know, stretch everything, okay, so just,